This afternoon's flight from Minneapolis to Rapid City had everyone waiting for its arrival. The airport's first Sun Country flight touched down a little before five, and our Kayla Henderson was there to see it. Kayla, what, Kayla, what made this Minneapolis flight different? <laughs> Thanks, Jack. What's so unique about Sun Country Airline in the Black Hills is that it offers a low cost option for nonstop flights to Minneapolis. And here with me is the Rapid City Regional Executive Director, Patrick Dame. Hi, Patrick. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How do you feel about today? Hey, this is a great addition to the services that we've got here in Rapid City. Having a low cost carrier option to be able to get from Rapid City to the Twin Cities, uh, being able to go see see a ball game or be able to enjoy the nightlife or even get off to those 10,000 lakes. This is a great option for folks here. Yes. And so how was the process getting Sun Country here to Black Hills? So anytime we work with air service development, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. It takes years to be able to work with them to ensure that their market is good for us and that we're good for their market. And uh, with this, we were able to make it work and we're really excited to have them here. Right. So I know that, you know, with the Sun Country airline that you guys will be flying people out two times per week. Now in the future, now in the future will extend. So we're hoping as we get in and get through this season that we'll actually see them be able to have some success and develop into more flights into the future. Hopefully daily, maybe hopefully some other routes into the future, but all that's what we're trying to get to. Perfect. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Hey, we, we welcome everybody coming around. Thank you. Back to the studio. All right. Thank you, Kayla.